Welcome back again to In Focus. Now, music's biggest stars turned out this week to raise money for Haiti. They did it by updating the anthem, We Are the World, which 25 years ago raised millions of dollars to aid famine relief in Africa. VOA's Carolyn Turner has that story. For all the fun on the red carpet at Sunday's Grammy Awards, there also was a serious side. All star musicians organized a re-recording of the 1985 classic, We Are the World, with the proceeds to go to Haitian relief. We Are the World was originally written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie and raised more than $64 million for African famine relief. The song won four Grammy Awards, including Best Song and Record of the Year. Quincy Jones co-produced the original We Are the World, as well as today's new version. No accident that Haiti occurred simultaneously with the 25th anniversary, you know. And that's what the, uh, the whole thing started for. Uh, the check you at the door was not necessary. These people come with their hearts, and you don't know what's going to happen. And just give everything you got and see if it works, you know. Same with Bono, you know. We work together a lot. Also returning to the project is Motown legend Smokey Robinson. Well, I think that We Are the World is such a poignant message. And to have it renewed is a great thing. It's a great thing, so I'm very happy. Also joining in is the legendary guitarist, Carlos Santana. Uh, I'm very honored. I've been invited to do something with Quincy, my brother Quincy Jones, Bono, and Wycliffe. And it's for the big, uh, the, the people, the children, especially in, in Haiti. Uh, kind of like We Are the World. And I'm just really honored that they invited me. So thank you. Haitian musician Wycliffe Jean says he had mixed feelings about attending the Grammy Awards when so many in his homeland are suffering. When my people see me here, they understand what it is. Like I left Haiti when I was 10 years old. When I first did the Grammys, it was 1996. I wore a Haitian flag on my back, you know, to let people know where we came from. So, I mean, to be out here, this is what the Haitians represent. Like, I don't want people because all of this somberness, we're still singing, right? So I want y'all to still just, you know, toughen up a little for us, you know what I mean, and help us work on this thing. Performer Ricky Martin has just returned from a visit to Haiti. And for the last six, seven, eight years, I've been working against human trafficking, especially focusing on the children. And, and unfortunately, traffickers take advantage of situations like this to, to go on with their crimes. And, and I just went to see what, you know, what needed to be done. There's so much that needs to be done, but I created an alliance with Habitat for Humanity, and we're going to start building homes ASAP. The session for retracking We Are the World was held at the same recording studio where the original was cut, the historic A&M complex in Hollywood. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.